Hey, you. Yeah, you. Hi. Tell me, sir. Do you like your mascara? Are you crying? Try and calm down, sir. What if I told you your mascara was not the problem? If I had a trick to make your lashes look longer than your wildest dreams, would you like to know what it is? You heard me, bitch. Now answer, daddy. Shall we begin? What's up, YouTube? So before I get into the main part of the video, I thought why not touch base on politics and religion. So this video is going to be about how to make your lashes super long. Effect. Now I've noticed in the past 10 or so years that the majority of my clients apply their mascara incorrectly. So I'm going to show you the wrong way to do it and then I'm going to show you the right way to do it if you want to really maximize those lashes, make them super long, give your eyes that little bit of sex appeal, because who doesn't want longer lashes? So the main issue I notice when women are applying their mascara is they're taking the mascara wand, they're applying it to the root of the lashes, and they're bringing the mascara wand straight outwards. So this is a problem because you're not maximizing your lashes full potential. So it's pretty common knowledge that if you want your lashes to be reaching towards the heavens, you need to begin with an eyelash curler. I know these guys are kind of like little torture devices, but they truly work, so go invest in one. So if you're lucky enough to have naturally curled lashes, you can apply the mascara from the very root of your lashes all the way to the tips. If you're like me and you have a straighter lash and you just had to use an eyelash curler, you want to begin applying the mascara just above the root. That way the mascara doesn't weigh down the curl you just added to your lashes. So take notice as this peacock spreads its feathers here because this is exactly how you want your eyelashes to be framing the eye. So Marilyn Monroe's makeup artist was a huge fan of placing extra mascara on the lashes located just above the iris of the eye. So flip your mascara wand upside down and you need to be specific in choosing the lashes that you're going to be lifting directly above the iris of the eye. Add a few extra coats here and make sure that the lashes are reaching straight upwards towards your hairline. So now you want to take the lashes that are closest to your nasal bone and you want to act as if you're trying to make those lashes touch the other eye. So being this specific with where you're placing the lashes does require a little bit more time and focus, but I promise the payoff is absolutely worth it. So now you want to manipulate those side lashes and you want to bring them outwards almost at a diagonal towards the sides of the face. Kind of think about doing a winged liner except for with your lashes. So this may seem like a fairly basic mascara step, but you'd be surprised at how many women and men are not utilizing this step and it makes a huge difference. So here is a little before and after for you guys. On the right side of the screen, I did the fanning effect with my lashes. And on the left side of the screen, I did the traditional apply the mascara kind of going straight outwards. So obviously you can see it makes a huge difference. I used the exact same amount of mascara on both eyes. I dipped the wand twice. And this was a pretty old uh, tube of mascara that I picked up at like Walgreens. So the effect truly comes from the way that I applied it and not the mascara. So once you've applied your mascara and hopefully are feeling super sexy about your lashes, you should go up to any stranger on the street, go up to your husband, go up to your boyfriend and say, 
Macadacia. I don't know if you've noticed, but I have the longest lashes in all the land. And I bet you anything you'll get a kiss, or at the very least, someone might tell you you're very pretty. Other one's good with me, or maybe a ring on my finger. God damn it, I'm looking for a husband. I just want to say really quickly that I love the way YouTube is a place where anyone can come and feel safe and creative and just have fun. And and I personally don't condone violence or threats of any sort. I want to let you guys know that if for any reason you decide that you don't want to subscribe to my channel, then Fluffykins here will be sacrificed. I'm afraid to die. <laughs> So if his life is in your hands, I mean that's honestly that's on you. If you know if you can live with the guilt or eternal damnation, then I am not one to judge. The truth is, I really just want to build my little YouTube family and have a place where I can totally geek out and show you guys all these crazy, weird hacks, beauty tricks, and things that I've learned in the course of my like 10, maybe 15 year makeup career. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had fun making this one, and I'm gonna see you guys again real soon. Peace out, and don't forget, word to your mother, yo. Word to your mother, and word to your father. What, what, yeah, yeah. What, 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 yeah, yeah. No. I'll let you guys know that if for tricks and hacks and things that I've learned and showing people the cool beauty tricks and hacks and things that I've learned and damn you one day these people are gonna stop doing whatever they're doing it and let me get on with my shit they're annoying me with old oh, maybe some random stranger on the street <laughs> Merciful heavens to mercy. <laughs>